Hello, everyone, and welcome to this evening's Compline. I'm glad you could join me. Uh, I, it's my hope that you get some benefit out of, out of the evening Compline. Uh, I know it, it helps me. It helps me to end my day, end my day in prayer, end my day, you know, and thanks. Thanks for the many blessings that God has given me. And I know sometimes during the day it seems like your whole world is just is falling in. But if we look hard enough, if we look hard enough, you will find blessings. You'll find blessings. Some days it's a lot easier to find them than it is others. But you know that God is there with you. God wants designed for that, that it can help you at the end of the day to, to relax, give up your cares, give up your troubles, give them to God so that you can get your much, much needed sleep. So the more you're under stress, of course, the more sleep that you need. So, you know, whatever you can do to, to help accomplish that. So, our order for Compline begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. Um, but before we begin, let's take a moment to quiet our minds and quiet our hearts. As I said, the book of Common, the order for compliment begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. We have sinned against you to our own fault, in thought, in word, in deed, and what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our uh, psalm for this evening, sorry, is uh, Psalm 4, found on page 128 in the Book of Common Prayer. Answer me, God, when I call. O oh God, defender of my cause, you set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Though that the Lord does wonders for the faithful, when I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better days, better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil and crisps. I lie down in peace, and at once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
in the bottom of page 131. Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal co covenant, we equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to, our Lord, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Sing together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those, both day and night, who work while others sleep, and grant that we will never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted, shield the joyous. All for your love's sake. Amen. It is this during this time that we will offer up our own prayers and intercessions, prayers, prayers of thanksgiving. <clears throat> I'll start out, then I will give you time then to to add your own. I say it all the time when we, when we do Compline, that's because I believe it. You know, you can say these, your prayers, things, you know, silently or loud. God will hear them, he'll know, you know, and he's always there. So don't be afraid to offer up your prayers to him. Don't be afraid to give him thanksgiving for the many gifts that he has given you throughout your life and throughout the day. Remember that he's always there. All you need to do is call out. Let us pray. As grace says, Heavenly Father, I first give you thanks for the many blessings that you brought into my life. Lord, I thank you for the blessings of family, our wife, sons, grandchildren, daughter in laws, Lord, and friends. Lord, be with all those who are still suffering from COVID, be with those who are treating them, the EMTs, the doctors, the nurses, pharmacists, all those, Lord, who continue to be in, in harm's way, and the scientists who continually to work vigilantly to try to find a cure to help us combat this new disease. It's really changed our world. Lord, I give you thanks also for the blessings of my parish, for St. James, for Epiphany, for 
Christ Church, for St. Peter's, for all the parishes, Lord, and for all the many things that they do, for the outreach house, for the many pantries throughout the area that continue to feed and help those who are in need. Continue to lift those princes up, Lord, and lift up those folks who need help. May we always be there to assist. Lord, I ask for peace in this world, for the end of this senseless gun violence, these murders that we hear about day in and day out every single day. There's got to be an answer and there's got to be a way. Lord, help the folks who make decisions see that. The folks who manufacture these weapons, they can see how destructive that power can be. That we put some common sense into the things that we make, things that we sell, and what we are willing to tolerate in today's world. You may now offer up your own prayers and supplications and thanksgiving. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Continuing on page 134, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace, as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people as well. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleep. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Well, that concludes our compliment for this evening. Thank you for tuning in. Share it with folks that you think could benefit from it. We try to be here every Thursday, every Thursday at 8 o'clock. So... Have a blessed week. Take care. Be safe. Be smart. And love Christ with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Let him help you, guide you on all your decisions and everything that you do in life. So until we see you again, God bless and sleep well. Good night.